Hey everyone, happy dude here and I'm back with another video with the question does sound deadening or sound proofing really work? Uh, I'm going to try to uh, improve the sound quality of the car uh, this means two things uh, improve, improving the sound speakers and also make sure uh, to reduce uh, the uh, sound noise of the road and the tires because in a Renault Megane it's not really as good so uh, we have these two materials uh, the shiny one is for on the doors and the thick black one is for on the floor uh, this goes directly onto the metal it's a uh, double sided tape so it's easy to install also easy to cut with a scissor to get it in the right shape now the first job is to take off the door panel I already have a video of that so if you don't know how to do it on a Renault Megane Coupe check that first and then the second job is to uh, remove the old speakers as you can see um, they're just made of paper uh, to take the old speakers out you have to drill them out uh, that's the only tricky bit of this build okay when the speaker is out you can begin sticking the material to the metal door now this material uh, doesn't only keep the sound out from the outside but also keeps the sound from the speakers inside the car for a better, better quality of the speakers and it also keeps the heat or cold from the car in and the heat or cold from the outside out and these two materials are for behind the speaker and between the speaker um, as you can see the one with the waves is behind the speaker on top of the metal isolation and then this one is for between the speaker to uh, absorb the vibrations and then this one goes on top of it also between the speakers to make sure the sound is uh, bounced back inside the car so the sound can't escape in the door because then you lose the quality of your speaker as you can see these speakers are a lot better of quality uh, they are made from Kevlar uh, they make bulletproof vests of that and if you have the opportunity to put bigger speakers inside the car always do that uh, that makes most of the difference so this is how it should look uh, of course do uh, the whole door panel and this is the end result and of course also do the door panel itself and here are the end results uh, this is tested on the same road with the same conditions uh, at 60 miles an hour so on the left one you see the average is 72 decibels and it's measured at 75 at the moment and the peak was 80 decibels 
and then on the right you see at the moment itself it was only 68 decibels and the average was 69 and the max was only 75 decibels so it does really work uh, of course you can do the whole car like the whole of the ceiling and the whole of the floor and um, the flanks above the the tires uh, the wheel arches you can do also that and the more you do uh, the more it will be effective of course if you already have uh, a car like a BMW or an Audi or Mercedes they already have a lot of sound isolation so you can't really improve that but of course on a Reynold like this where there is almost none of sound isolation you can see you can do a whole lot of improvement so guys thanks for watching if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and like bye